Hello friends, welcome to Ultra Pixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, this is a 32-inch Sony LED TV. Here you can see the model number 32R402A. This is the model number. Here the complaint is TV not turning on. Here you can see the TV is not turning on. There is no LED indicator. See friends, first we are going to check the adapter to confirm whether the issue is related with the power adapter. So while checking the power adapter, here you can see the 19 volt is present. So the adapter is working. So here the complaint is with the motherboard. So this adapter is working properly. Now let us open the back cover of the LED TV and check the voltages in the motherboard. Friends, now we removed all screws from the back cover and the back cover is removed. Here you can see this is the motherboard. Here the complaint is because of lightning. So using the multimeter, let us check the basic voltages. See friends, now we turn on the TV and connected the power adapter. See friends, the input voltage 19 volt DC is ok. See friends, 5 volt is present. Engine volt is okay. One point two volt is there. See, friends, three point three voltage is also present in this motherboard so here in this board all basic voltages are ok while touching on the main IC you can see the IC is overheating here the complaint is with this IC so basically this IC will be damaged due to lightning so in this board we are going to replace the motherboard with alternate one See friends, we are going to install this same model, another Sony LED TV motherboard in this TV. So we are going to fix this new motherboard instead of this faulty one in this TV. For that, let us remove all screws and sockets, LVDS connection from the old faulty motherboard now we disconnected all sockets
now we removed all screws now let us install this new motherboard by replacing the old faulty one so now let us screw this new board Now let us connect our sockets back to this motherboard. See friends, now all sockets are connected. Now we connected the 19 volt DC power adapter. So instead of this faulty one, here we install the new motherboard. Now let's turn on the TV and check the picture. See friends, now the Sony logo appears and the TV is turned on. You can see now the new motherboard is working properly. So now the TV is repaired successfully by changing the faulty motherboard with new one. Now our TV is repaired successfully. You can see this is the old faulty motherboard. In the old motherboard the main IC is damaged due to lightning. Now. Let us put the back cover and our screws back to TV. So hope you like this video. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. See you in another video with other interesting topics. Thanks for watching.